Alright. I'm making this video to warn you guys about uh, cheap air filters. Especially the ones straight from China. They're garbage. You see that little shadow in there? A shadow of light? See that? The bottom isn't sealed on this filter. Right around the bottom in there is not sealed. That's why you can see light. The light in there. They're not sealed all the way. Same thing with this one. Boom. See how there's absolutely no shadow of mesh screen on that light? As like uh, I go up here a little higher, you can see the shadow of the mesh. But you get down to the bottom. Bam. No shadow, big holes. Big holes. All I mean, it goes all the way around. All the way around, man. The whole bottom. Look. That doesn't even look right. That's epoxy. Why is it all bubbly? That one doesn't look right at all. Like this one. Let's see. See how it's all smooth? Smooth. Light's a little too bright. Sorry. These are brand new filters, never even been on a bike. Look, I'll prove the brand new look. This one's sealed. I haven't even looked at this one yet, but I'm willing to bet it's got holes in it. Dump the silica pack out. I'm gonna get the silica pack out. Sorry, guys. Hard to do with one hand. All right, brand spanking new. Just opened it. Bam! Look at that. Holes. And I don't know if you can see that really well, but look at how big those holes are. This is not a filter. Maybe for filtering pebbles. Pebbles and little stones. But that's sure not going to keep dust, dirt, and sand another grit out of your engine you'd be better off running a damn pantyhose for an air filter I'm not even kidding not much filtration in these at all at all these are not worth the money they're junk and I would not run one of these on my bike even if I didn't care about the damn thing I wouldn't run one on my bike Those holes are huge. They're freaking huge. It's just ridiculous. If you can see light through it like that. That's just not good. Just not good at all, man. These are garbage. Complete garbage. Now you can really see how big those holes are. Even the filter that's sealed. Friggin' holes are huge. That red is my towel I have sitting here on my uh, drain board. The actual filtering material appears to be black. With a very large mesh screen. I mean huge mesh screen. Huge mesh screen. But in this other one here, in this one can't really pick it up on camera. Let me move this one out of the sunlight. But, let me see. It's hard. I can't even hard to see it, but it's just, you just can't see it on camera. Yeah, you can't see it on camera. But, just don't buy this junk. I mean, if you're running it on a street bike, it did suffice, as long as you didn't run your street bike in the dirt, because, you know, there's not a whole hell of a lot of dust out on the road, but, yeah, don't buy these, don't friggin' buy them, they look cool, they're great if you just want them for looks, I suppose, but the manufacturing quality is just absolutely terrible, and not to mention, like I said, 
The bottoms aren't completely sealed. Bottoms aren't completely sealed and the epoxy, I don't know what was going on with their epoxy, but it's porous and full of holes. So even if they did glue up the bottom properly, air and dirt would still come through all those little tiny holes at the bottom there. As far as rubber quality, great rubber quality. They even give you a decent clamp. But yeah, it's just, this one is probably the best out of the bunch. Even though it's, it, you know, it's trying to jump too, but this would make a good oil breather. I mean, uh, it's just, if you can look through it and still see stuff, like clearly see stuff through it is garbage. Alright, just, just fair warning, don't buy this junk. Buy a real air filter.